Hey there, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and welcome back to another Microsoft 365 quick tip. Have you ever wished you could access your SharePoint files just as easily as your OneDrive files? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that in a really simple way by linking your SharePoint document libraries directly to your local OneDrive. So everything is available and accessible right at your fingertips. Let's get stuck in. So this is a document library inside a SharePoint site. And it's that central place where we can upload, store, collaborate and work on the files, both for me and my team members or contractors or clients, whoever's working in this space. But instead of coming back to SharePoint every time, what we can do is we can sync this folder so that the entire library is accessible from OneDrive so that I can work from my desktop or mobile app without having to jump back up into the web every time. And it's as simple as up here, when I'm in the document section, there's a document library and I can hit here, add shortcut to OneDrive. So it adds a shortcut to this particular document library into my OneDrive. So it's the person who's logged in here. So if I click this one and we put add shortcut, you can see it's adding a shortcut to my files in OneDrive. And you can see this is what the folder looks like. So next, that was pretty easy, right? So now let's see what it looks like in OneDrive. And once it's synced, the document library will appear here in my local OneDrive. So I can search for OneDrive and open it, or I have it set up in my file explorer. So I can already automatically open that there. And these are all of my folders and you'll see this new synced folder. So this is a folder that is linked or synced to SharePoint. That's what that symbol means. It is a document library for this site. And you can see I've got a few of them here that I access all the time. So if I double click in here and we open it up, what you'll see is that the items that are in this folder in documents 01 test site team are exactly the same as the documents here on the SharePoint site. Give it a second. There we go. Now, changes I make at this level or by opening these will reflect instantly. And I'm going to show you that now. So if I open up this Word document, and I'm doing this on the local one, so from my OneDrive, opening this one up, and so opening in the local version of Word, and we'll give it a second. Right, so I am going to make the font, I'm going to make it all Arial, and I'm going to make this uh, orange, and I'm going to delete this image. See, it's auto saving here, but I'm just going to speed it up by making sure it over saves. Come on, it's having a minute. So that is now saved. I'm going to close it on my local here. And you'll see that it's uh, synced and showing that this is the date and time it was modified. If I jump back now to SharePoint and I just refresh this page. So if you didn't have it open and then you opened it up, it would do the refresh automatically for you. So you can see a few seconds ago, I can open it up here locally. And those changes that I made on my local machine are now happening in yellow. It's orange and that image has vanished. So there you have it. It's automatically synced back. It's been linked without having to do anything. So you can work on your files wherever you are without having to jump between those different apps. You can work locally if that's easier for you through OneDrive and it becomes your local container or filing cabinet for files that are saved in different locations on SharePoint sites from different accounts even so that you can access everything you need in one place. It's like having your filing cabinet, that SharePoint, and then putting all of the files that you need to work on out of the filing cabinet into your inbox on your desk. So I hope that that's helped you and um, get in there and have a play, see what happens, see how you like to have your files organized and see which system works better for you. 
So there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that this has been really helpful. If you found it useful, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tips so that you can stay on top of your workload every day. I'll see you soon.